welcome zodiac singles totally singles completely singles if you're not maybe check out <laughs> the heart spread read which is also up and that uh, is for the one um, that's on your mind and your heart but this is uh, for our singles using the ethereal visions illuminated tarot deck and you're here in the beautiful downtown Cancun jungle studios Dave Scott tarot and I pre-shuffled I haven't seen the bottom of the deck we're not gonna get there you never know <laughs> what I'm gonna do is pull through the deck you know sorry guys pre shuffle pull through the deck so we keep all the uh, shuffling uh, to the side uh, so, and uh, we're going to do three cards and I'll time stamp it, you know, and every sign. Nice asking the name of light and love spirit. Can you uh, give us guidance here for the greatest good uh, for each sign? Get some guidance, something really helpful as, as to what you want and need. Uh, more than just simply a, a description of um, your circumstance, which as a person that loves tarot, that can be pretty impressive even. Let's see from a three card read. Aries, girlfriends, uh, Aries, love of my life, fair, be fair. <laughs> but um, I've been in a relationship with number Aries, so love Aries energy, I'm a Sag, eight of cups. Now, if this is your reading, then this card here helps us know if uh, you're resonating. Uh, because you would definitely be someone who either recently has walked away and it was emotional, kind of always is. But particularly, uh, this could be a you know, moon conjunct, uh, ascendant moon um, um, conjunct uh, uh, Pluto, kind of like that, you know, uh, something really hard emotionally that, to walk away from. So it may not have been real recently, but it was a real strong relationship, maybe like a soulmate relationship, Aries, you know, that you had to walk away from or something, you know, long term marriage. You know, with this energy too, the way they're looking at the moon is someone could have passed. You know, it happens. You could have lost someone to death. I've lost people so hard. They left me so hard. And it was like they were dead. I mean, you can't contact them. You're probably never going to see them again or hear from them again. So I know that feeling. That's kind of like the feeling of it. It's like sitting. You're sitting with loss right now, Aries, somehow. Okay, and it's a daily read, so uh, it doesn't have to be. We could be, look at your daily transits, might be interesting, really, because now this is where you're at with the Five of Cups. Well, um, what I said emphasize the sitting. Typically, you say this is walking away from, you know, um, something emotional, leaving it behind. Maybe not, maybe it's sitting with it in here, really sitting with this, this completely distraught. And the classic advice, look, Aries, you, you know, there's more fish in the sea. There's two cups behind him upright. You ever tried those? You know, to your liking. But, you know, unless you're a sociopath, when your heart's broken like this, um, you know, um, you can't just, like, be distracted like a child with a shiny set of keys, <laughs> emotionally speaking, right? So, um, where's this going, spirit? Cups. You know, I don't know how to read this, and you know, you've got all cups here, guys, for Aries. This is a very, you must have something very emotional in your chart. A water moon, water rising, um, sun in a water house, etc. Um, but there's something you're trying to leave behind here. You're working on it still right now. What the promise is... It's an emotional something. It, it, I know it, it's what it's all about in terms of manifestation too, is our emotions, where our emotions at. And this kind of energy here is a loss. And you know, that's, you're not gonna manifest well out of that energy. But there's like a promise here with this Ace of Cups that you could kind of deal with this. And you'd be free emotionally. This Ace of Cups would be complete freedom emotionally. So, I'd love to have a comment on that one, guys. Let me know what you think of that uh, reading, Aries. Um, thank you. Taurus, thanks for joining me. This is for November 16th. Uh, singles, super singles, completely singles read.
And I say that for one, I have the heart spread, spread read that goes up uh, uh, for each sign. And it's a little bit more involved. And it's for someone, uh, if you have someone on your mind. But here I'm looking at people that are really single, kind of wide open, that kind of energy. And uh, um, we're good, trying to do just a mm, general love read for you guys every day this week uh, with three cards. And uh, so it won't take up much of your time. See if it resonates. Let me know. Leave a comment. If you find it might be helpful in any way. Do also check out the Soul Family Read. That's, uh, I'll put a link to it in this uh, description, but it's on my channel. I'll do it daily. More about manifestation, spirituality. Here I'm kind of focusing on, on that, really, but a little more on the love and romance. If you're single, watching this, kind of like, but is there something going on? You know, many people were single, you know, but we're dating. And, but, you know, we're really in love and committed. It can take, you know, it's up to you to decide. Uh, this is conceived of when you are wide open, okay? Taurus, speaking of being wide open, you know, it's here Aquarius somewhere in your chart, uh, rising moon, elsewhere that's significant right now, got Jupiter and Saturn stirring up the pot there, what house is that for you too comes to mind, <clears throat> Taurus, uh, what house is Aquarius, you know, it's my sixth house, mm-hmm, I think it, uh, Aquarius is my, as my kryptonite. <laughs> no offense, Aquarius. I got Sun Trine, uh, Uranus, and uh, I have a lot of respect for Aquarius way. So, um, this is someone that seems to me would be manifesting with the star energy. It's kind of divine, uh, feminine energy of manifestation as opposed to like the magician. Um, so let's see what's going on here guys wow so you're really this is the good work number one and the most cards really emphasize that with the you know the crafts person on there here really emphasizes collaboration as you see these three young people really literally almost putting their heads together to collaborate upon something um, it's a very positive energy it's very personal energy to you really putting yourself into something work pinnacle something solid um i i i, I don't want to make this fit but uh, because i have a concept to walk away and you manifest is really knowing what you want and thinking it through and but then kind of letting it go and walking away from it you know um and this could be it. I mean, the star, that's manifestation, and this is doing the good work. And the best thing to do when you walk away is to do your work. You know, take care of your business, take care of your day, whatever that means. And the Three of Pentacles is someone that's really doing good work. So whatever that means, you know. That, that to me, could be the walk away. So you're, in other words, you know, you're not manifesting by saying, oh, shit, when am I going to get, you know, uh, my lover? Or when am I going to get, you know, um, my, uh, you know, opportunity that I'm waiting on, or my, where am I going to get my, you know, spiritual download that I'm supposed to get, you know, I want to get, I'm trying to manifest. Instead, it's just totally walk away and be involved very strongly in our work, in our day, take care of business, and um, lo, that's when it can really percolate work, you know, we're not all over it. Wow. So, Three of Pentacles followed by the three of swords well that's an outcome there too guys I also see that as advice three of swords the three of swords and the four of wands I, I got to consider this reading a little bit with this. The only way I can really make sense out of this, I don't want to clarify again, I could, is if you were collaborating with your person in, in an effort to build a long-term stable relationship, and then it kind of goes two ways. With someone who's broken your heart, you're trying to reestablish this, and that's what this is. This kind of, I like this if that's the case, because... It implies there's real, uh, you know, whenever ever anything like that was to happen, what I would ask is like, 
what's changed and you know like literally have you grown have you learned as your person you know done anything or uh or to, so that there'll be a difference when you come back together you know or if it's not that it could be you uh, working and collaborating with a lover who is in the process of divorce or with a lover collaborating with you who are in the process of divorce you know um that's kind of mainly i get out of that um it's a little more subtle uh it, what you would then what you would think by just looking at the um three of swords there you know it's like an ending in order to have a uh in order to work because uh, wands are work and action in order to build a long-term stable commit a relationship taurus and fours by the way that's taurus too stability it's where there's stability the second house in your chart Thank you, Taurus. Um, Gemini's, thank you. Doing the singles read, and this week doing a little different. Doing a uh, all signs uh, every day read for a general uh, look at uh, relationships around being single. This is for kind of totally single, completely single. Um, also have the heart spread if you have someone on your mind. And I'll put a link to this old family read. That's more about spirituality manifestation. If you think you might relate to that. Um, but here, just past, present, and future. Let's get a bead and where you're at. Wow. So, it could be someone that's in a marriage and we're dealing with the marriage. That's most likely. Well, it, <clears throat> I not only read this here as past, but kind of where you're at right now in terms of love and relationships. Um, now, if you're not really in a marriage, and it's kind of strange to get because, you know, it's supposed to be super singles, totally singles, or you more than likely have the, uh, in, in the way I say you can be married, maybe you're separated, but in your mind, maybe you're Sagittarius like me, and you're like, well, that means we're divorced, right? <laughs> or an Aries, well, that means we're divorced, right? Um, and you really feel it's not like making fun of you, um, you know, I'm, I'm laughing with you. Um, but this would be somehow the energy of the marriage is on you, you know, and it's a little bit, maybe you're not exactly Catholic, but it'll, it could almost be to the feel of it. Uh, think of it like, uh, if you were Catholic and, and you were divorced and, you know, it's not sanctioned by the church, you can't really remarry. And so that, then the, the whole thing about marriage sort of sticks on you. I, I get it like, like, uh, like you have a smoke on your clothes or something and it's still there after weeks even after like you wash them just kind of holds holds on to you there um let's see what we get to go with that yeah okay so it kind of implies that your marriage is ending you know um yeah it's interesting um because this is the uh, now um so you would obviously have the the smell of your marriage all over you if it just happened this makes it seem pretty darn immediate like I hate to say it like this but like if, if you're resonating at all <clears throat> you know this could mean you know you're gonna get bad news here <clears throat> but if you're single and you're in a, if you're watching singles or you're in a relationship well I mean it's how it goes uh, but if you're in any kind of relationship, and it could be that you're in a relationship with a person who's married. This is another way it's going to go. And this tower, some towers aren't always bad. You know, it represents something coming down. You know, and if someone was having an affair with you to start with, or you were having an affair, I mean, something's not firm in there somewhere. I'm not saying every relationship, uh, every affair means you should end the relationship. But I'm a Venus and Scorpio, so I kind of almost do think that way personally. But I, I try to put that on other people. Um, but so something was unsound, that's when the tower comes down. Which could be happening, like, right now. Nice. Reads for the 16th. And this Knight of Pentacles. So this could well be your person's like an earth sign. This might be you, you know, you would obviously know. Uh, if definitely, if you feel like this is you, like the marriage is coming down, the tower's coming down, 
and it came out I don't really read reversals but it came out upright it, it's not like you're aware of it trying to hold it back um, it's just coming down but this night is, is facing towards you here in the reading as an outcome and I do see an earth person here that's not you uh, and someone coming to aid I mean a knight you know like in shining armor sort of but Mars is action someone taking actions with material things anything from helping you move to giving you money for a down payment for a new place someone like this coming in likely they uh, also are uh, they are uh, earth sign person so Taurus or Virgo a Capricorn person and um, I think that's kind of an ongoing thing so if anything I think could maybe be helpful <clears throat> I'd say it looks like there's going to be help here for you you know when this happens um, and I know I get this could be the person you're involved with but it doesn't have to be but Mars you know probably yeah it's someone that's interested in you you know I don't see anything bad in it other than uh, I get it but that happens guys um, 